Um, I'm going to go into Lang's question soon, but first of all, it's maybe a dumb question, but won't people on your table watch your stream? Well, they could, but there's a delay. It's got a 30 seconds delay, um, so I don't think they will be able to to take anything from it. If so, well, that's that's too bad, but it's okay. Flix, how did you tell your parents that you wanted to be a poker pro and what was their reaction? That is an interesting question, but actually it's not all that interesting because my parents already knew early on. Like, So when I was 17, I started playing Magic the Gathering semi-professionally. I was already traveling... Um, I was already traveling the tournament circuit for Magic the Gathering, so they were actually quite used to what it meant for me to be a kind of well, I wasn't earning a living for sure, but I was making some money on the side playing Magic the Gathering. Um, and I was already, you know, I showed interest in being a gamer or becoming a gamer. And so they pretty much were already into it from the start. They kind of knew where this was going. And when I told them about poker, they were totally up for it because they kind of trusted me on it, because they, had, they had already seen what I had achieved uh, playing Magic the Gathering. King-10 off, I would probably defend, but not against none of the gun race. <clears throat> so my parents were actually not too surprised to hear me wanting to become a professional poker player. So we're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sure you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's kind of their reaction. Even though my mom usually um, still asks me the same kind of questions about like, when she asks, so how's the poker going? And I go, well, you know, last week didn't go too well. I lost. She was like, but you still have money left, right? <laughs> so when I go, okay, I've lost this week. She doesn't she doesn't see the whole picture. She sees it as like, oh my god, my son is lost at the poker tables. Something bad has happened. He's probably not going to be able to pay his bills and his rent anymore. <laughs> so that was that's always kind of fun. And I always go like, no worries. I'm all good. That's what we have a bankroll for. And she goes like, yeah, but, you know, when you have a bad day, your bankroll could just be go be gone in one day. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not putting it at risk on one day. I'm just putting small parts of it at risk. That's a calculated risk. And she's like, ah, okay. And next time she goes like, so how did the poker go? Well, <laughs> I lost. Oh my god, you still got the money? <laughs> so, I mean, it's kind of natural. But anyways, they trust me. But still something they they sometimes don't get behind. But that's natural. <laughs> You're sure you made more money than you spent buying cards? It's actually an interesting question. But I also sold a lot of cards, so... I might have not made more money than I actually spent on buying cards, but I might have made more by also selling them in the end. That's probably more how it worked back then. Oh, those were the times. <laughs> yeah, but how much did you lose is kind of the classic. And, yeah, parents still go that way, I guess.
So ace 10 is going to be an open. And we pick up some chips. Free chips, always good. Free chips. I like free chips. I like free chips. Uh, I did open ace 10, 1, 2, 3. I would usually open from. I've just, you know, I'm just gonna knit it, knitting it. I'll, I'll knit it up. Twice in a row with ace 10, that's bad luck. <laughs> I've become so nitty in tournaments, but I, you know. To be honest, whenever I don't do that, whenever I just raise the kind of hands I would raise in a 6 max cash game, I get beat up every single time. I don't know why. I just don't have a good feeling for MTT timing. Let's see if we can get the stream up to 200 viewers. Right now we got 130. That's pretty nice. Thanks everybody for the support. Thanks for the rail. Thanks for the support. Awesome. That was another question. It might sound a bit weird, but could you... Could you possibly play me heads up sometime and give me 110? <laughs> So I can play in your home game club tournament. Uh, uh, well, you can join the home game tournament. Now. I can, I can, I can do some play money uh, tournaments there. We can do some heads up play money tournaments. That's something we can do. How can you fold ace ten offset there? Because I can. <laughs> Whenever I open twice with the same hand in a row, it always backfires. Never works. Don't ask me why, it's just... I got this groove and I'm writing it. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's probably pretty bad, <laughs> but I guess it works out for me. Seven hundred left. Four hundred and ninety five in the money. Sixty fifty seven K for first. <laughs> I don't understand any of that stuff, Birdie. About like Limping and ICM and final tables. <laughs> I've never been there. So how should I, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> Start another home game. Okay. That I can do. Let's create a tournament. Okay.
here we go. <laughs> so, uh, minus six hours will be 12, 11. Okay. We're gonna set it up for half hour. 11.30. Another one. We can put another... Okay, we're gonna up the stakes now. We're gonna make it a two a two fifty knockout this time. And yeah, here we go. Eleven thirty. It's on, so just join the home game club. Starts in twelve minutes. So ace-5 suited, he min-raises, he might still fold. He plays from his tablet. I don't know. I don't know. So if I listen to my groove, I would say fold. Yeah, I'm going to listen to my groove. I'm going to fold. I'm going to fold this. All right, anyways, just join the home game tourney, guys. I upped the stakes a little bit. Hope you still enjoy. And some people want a play money. Okay, I'm going to do a play money version as well. So there is going to be your play money version. Wow, this is just this is just insane. I need to call this. I mean, I just need to see a flop here. We could flop the nuts and still be alive. <laughs> Let's hope that nobody squeezes. We didn't flop the nuts. I love Zuri's comment. Zuri, that was pretty good comment. Okay, play money. Play money tournament is also set up And don't forget to register for the high stakes WCOOP side event for two dollars and seventy cents. Don't forget that people. See so has a three hundred dollar bounty. I yeah, I forgot about the bounty too. <laughs> the bounty actually is worth something here. But I'm also not used to making those kinds of calculations. Are you nervous when you're playing live games and are you still being able to do your calculations like you do playing online? Uh, good question. Yeah, I actually, I actually get a little bit 
I wouldn't call it nervous, but rather it's like this um, the stage fever that you kind of get um, when you have like your appearance on a stage. It's kind of this, it's more of like not being nervous or anxious, it's more of like being excited or, you know, you want to perform, you want to do something uh, well, you want to, you know, you want to make the right decisions. So yeah, it's more like being excited or anxious, but definitely something that you got to keep under control. <clears throat> <laughs> Are you offering the next home game tourney buy-in for the winner of the play money tourney? Well, because I won some. Okay, because some play money people want to play the real money one. So I'm gonna send a car. I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm gonna send a karma dollar, like I always do. One dollar. I'm gonna send to the winner of the play money tournament. The bubble will burst after another 170 people have busted. So 600, 670. So the bubble is at 595. Uh, 495. Sorry. Yeah, 495 places paid. Uh, I don't want to play the play money tournament. I'm sorry, guys. Because I can only focus on one, but you know what? I'm just going to play it. Okay. Maybe I win my own play money tournament. By the way, if you're planning on going to my grinding it up shop, don't forget to use the code WCOOP. It's a promotion code. I'm running a promotion. So Queen Jack suited, I think I can open and probably fold to a shove. I get insta 3 bet by the button, so I think this is a fold. Yeah, this certainly seems to be a fold. Given that I'm early position raiser. The next knockout home game tourney starts in a couple minutes. Take your seats. <laughs> so that guy shoves we have an easy call 
Now we have an easy fold, I'd say. But it's definitely interesting. I mean, we can knock out two people at once. So I actually think we can get an overlay here. So he shoves the rest. That's pretty interesting. That's a pretty interesting spot. I think, to be honest, we should be calling this. But I have a little bit of a doubt. I mean... Yeah, I think we're calling this. Wow. 3-5. Pretty sweet. Just like that. <laughs> Easy money. That's like, yeah, 125. The other guy. Ah, oh, we didn't bust the other guy. Ah, damn. We didn't cover the other guy. But... <laughs> oh. He's a little bit pissed. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess he's probably just pissed because he shoved 3-5 off. <laughs> I love I love to see how that um how the chat goes off when the stream actually kicks in with what I said. <laughs> That's really nice. That's really nice to see. I love to see you guys like, call, 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 come on, call, call. <laughs> Just such a delay there. But we only made 125 bucks, so too bad. <laughs> but on a good note, uh, we already managed to <coughs> win more than we actually invested into the tournament. I bought in for 215. And now I made a total of 275. So I'm already in the green for the day. Time to celebrate. It's like. I can finally afford to pay dinner. I have some food for today. 50 bucks to spend on food for the day. Yeah, I'm playing both home game tourneys. No worries, guys. I'm playing them both. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Polarizinga. I don't understand a whole lot about MTT play. That's for sure. That's why I said I've never, I've never actually. Because when Birdie said, like, you know, you know, at final tables, it's good, like, to limp and stuff pretty natural that I say, you know, I don't know that kind of stuff because I've never been there. <laughs> it's like, I didn't have to deal with this kind of stuff before. <laughs> oh. 
at least I can afford food for today. The wife will be happy. If I tell her. I'm gonna I'm gonna send her a message right now. So I think she will be very pleased to hear that my daily efforts that my efforts today have resulted in being able to for me being able to pay for dinner. We could pick up another 150 bucks. How about that? Or we pick up more chips. That's fine too. I'd take them both. <laughs> no curry king. No, no, no. We don't do that kind of stuff. Uh, Birdie, I know lockbox. Yeah, for sure. Played with them a decent bunch. I know that guy. <laughs> So now we're pretty deep here. 30 bigs against this guy. I don't know if it's like eh, 35 big blinds. I'm just going to flat. I think I got enough room to flat here. You always have a quad draw. So now he makes a pretty big bet. I know, in cash I would definitely call, but right now I think I'm okay folding. Looks like he's looking for fold equity here, but well, I got too many chips to kind of do anything else, I guess. That's a nitty fold. I'm being really nitty, but I just didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. King five against these guys, they have pretty big stacks. I think I'm just going to not steal the button. Oh yeah, you won't love that hand, I'm sure. There will be no love for that hand.
<laughs> I love reading the chat after I've actually played the hand, which is so much fun. Need some water. Stay hydrated. It's so cool to read the chat. Thing is, <laughs> I know exactly what you guys think, and I think the same. Don't get me wrong, I think exactly the same. But, it won't, it, it just, <laughs> it just never works out in tourneys. Seriously, trust me. <laughs> it's not it's not like I, I know exactly what you guys think. Like I know what Birdie thinks, I know what Fribble thinks, I know what you guys think. We've played quite a bunch, you know my game a little. You know exactly I wouldn't uh play like that in cash for sure. And it's you know, I've I've done this before and I don't know, I just I just want to pl I I think it's just best to play a little bit of a different style in tourneys cuz I never got far with my cash game style so far. And I've I've listened to people who are very successful MTT players who told me stuff that I would probably never do. And it's just like and also, I don't feel it. That's that's the other reason. <laughs> it's all right. We're doing really fine here. We're doing more than good. No worries. But I know exactly what you think. I haven't seen Mr. Dorson in quite a while. I don't know where he's at. Yeah, we usually call that two. <laughs> As a player playing for a living, do you have to pay taxes in Germany? Yes, 100%. Don't like it, but have to do it. No way around it. Whoops. Yeah, I can definitely do that. That's a good idea.
Yeah, I might ask Andre. Maybe I should do like a, a coaching it up session for MTTs and have myself coached by Andre. I'll ask him. I live in Cologne, if we're asking. Um, <laughs> Flixbus. There is a company in Germany uh, that drives around with buses, taking people to places. And it's called Flixbus. I need to invest into that company. Oh yeah, maybe I can get some of my team online mates to chime in and um, tell me a little bit about my MTT play in coaching it up. That would that would make up for some interesting coaching it up sessions. This must be the longest stream ever. Four hours and 40 minutes. I think I haven't streamed for that long in ages. Gamescom was in Cologne, yeah, yeah, that's always there. That's always a pretty cool time. Can you advise a German MTT trainer like you? Uh, check out IntelliPoker. We've got quite a few over there. In the block section, there's quite a number. But I'm not sure who's who's actually actively coaching or training, doing trainings in MTTs, so... Yeah, check that out.
I got 30 seconds delay on the stream. I hope it's enough. If not, so be it. Ah, I hear I hear Mr. Dawson coming back. Uh-huh. Tisch tennis. Läuft. In fünf Minuten. Tischtennis. Um 20 oder 50? 10. Um 10? <laughs> he wants to play for 10. <laughs> he said he lost too much. <laughs> Ooh. So we're going to make it... Four, 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 four. Looks super strong, but he also has three hundred and thirty-seven dollars up for grabs. He flats out of position. Interesting. Looks like jacks, tens, queens, aces, he could flat. I'm just going to shove, I guess. Hope to make it look like I have a draw or a bluff. Maybe he calls with sevens, nines, I don't know. I don't mind either. I can't bust him because he's got me covered. So I don't know, maybe there's some sort of like reverse... Oh, that's a sweet turn. I like that turn. Sweet. Sweet. Can you like stick around for longer? <laughs> you seem to bring good rail karma. And that right before the break. I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say about this. <laughs> I think you go like nuts in the chat. Right, time for table tennis.
should certainly like call, but I, don't know, I think it's a little bit too loose. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. You obviously didn't know how much of a nit you are. <laughs> 100%. He just said, Rail, shut the f up. <laughs> I think, I'm not sure if he's watching. <laughs> oh well. Alright, break time, people, off for table tennis. See you in a couple minutes.
Ui. Ai, ai, ai. <coughs> 50, please. 60, even. 60. <laughs> I just won 60 bucks in table tennis. So that brings me to a total of 110 in the green for today. Yes! 110 That was blue <sighs> So 30 left until money Oh, okay, so the stream is still on delay. Oh, yeah, there we go. <coughs> Whew. That was an exciting table tennis match. And we're still streaming. Can't believe it. Still lava rababa. <laughs> lava rababa. <coughs> lava rababa. So, everybody's still alive? Who's with us? gonna do one more post to attract even more viewers to the stream tonight should be fun it's already 6 p.m. wow so I'm, I've been playing for six hours now yeah pretty much six hours quite a bit <coughs> Wow, wow, wow. Well, well, well. I won. Well, well, well. I won. So, I get min raised. Pretty easy call. And I make two pair in the river, which I'm going to bet.
Bless you, sir. <laughs> He's waiting to check the stream, yeah. He could be. Turning infos are down in the middle, guys. I put them up here. I'll just make them a little bit bigger so you can see them. But they're down here. I could put up I could try and put up some <laughs> I do have a note I don't think I have a note Blue! Oh, blue is just the color for Grinding It Up Gang members, so everybody who's in the Grinding It Up Gang will get a blue note. I should mark myself as blue, actually. But i rather have myself marked as a spew irregular. Let me see. There you go. I'm blue now. Grinding it up, gang. I could up the delay of the stream. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I just I just delayed a little more. But I got to stop streaming. Okay, I'll stop streaming. I'll be back in a second. I'll delay it a little bit more. And then I'll be back with a bigger delay. Stay tuned, guys. Don't run away. <laughs> 